Hello, and welcome back to Distant Worlds 2. We continue our playthrough here as the Gizurian Hegemony. And we are attempting to branch out a little bit. We did colonize, I think, a new planet. We took over this planet here, or I should say this system, multiple planets. Um, I'd like to take over all the mining bases too, but I can't quite do that at this point. I'm hoping we'll get to a point where we can actually um i don't know build up something we're still kind of in the negative over here i think we're ripping apart ships right now which is fine there we go enhanced network targeting system got that done so what i'd like to do now i think is um which planet is gonna ultimately be the better one Forty-four hundred. Yeah, you're both about the same. The other one's better quality, though. All right, kind of feel like we need to queue up a uh, spaceport here. So let's go ahead and build that. I'd like to have one just for the sake of having the ability to repair over here. I feel like we don't have anything in this general area. I'm also very worried about. Um, these guys are getting kind of massive, so a little bit concerned about that. Let's take a quick look at our fleet. Still under attack by the Baskarans over here, huh? So our fleets are actually not that far away. I think these guys are all retiring. Why don't we go ahead and hop over here if we can? We have a spaceport, even though it's not a particularly good one. All right, we got another new desert planet. Hopefully, we will start to populate this. Everything's currently in the positive. 12 planets, not a lot. All right, I think we got to keep pressing our luck and try to get over here and take this planet. But I think what we need to do is come down here first, do some repairs, and then head over there. We still have like a really slow hyperdrive. I'd love to steal some hyperdrive tech off of these things. You are going to be toast. Hopefully we'll get lucky and get something out of those. All right, we'll pop this back to invade, pop these to attack. Let them start figuring out what they need to do. We do not have a lot of Kazlan, but some of our ships are going over there to refuel. I guess let's try to try to retrofit as much as we can. I don't know if that'll be an improvement. I think it will. I would like to add a couple carriers to each fleet. It looks like these guys are still fighting over here. Feels like a very slow attack. They must have like missiles or something. Yeah, torpedoes. These guys are kind of trash. They're almost as trash as me. I think we might be able to take these red guys. That That is not impressive at all. All right, let's take a look at our current. I think we were retrofitting a bunch of... Yeah. Not only were we retrofitting stuff, but the civilian ships were being retrofitted as well. So if we look at ship designs... Yeah, freighters look predominantly to be the ones that are currently upgraded. This will eventually start building as soon as these other things are broken down. Go ahead and increase the speed just a little bit. Ah, we actually stole 
gravitic weapons. All right, I'm hoping these populations, yeah, they're both being assimilated. I'm not really sure why there's two separate Tekken populations. Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. Uh, looks like we are colonizing another planet. How is our reputation? It is getting better. But these guys still definitely don't like me. So I just got to wait for this reputation to tick up. Right, let's take a look at what we got going on here. Our one fleet is... Looks like it's about to arrive down here. These guys are stuck retrofitting over here. I really got to come after this planet as much as possible. And then I think we got to try to take on these red guys. All right, so what's their deal? Who are they at war with? That's going to be our next target. Okay, they are at war with these guys, which is not that surprising. They're pretty much hated by everyone else. Or they're at least furious with them, but they're not actively at war with them. All right, we just got a breakthrough in capacitors. So what does that mean for us? A step towards better shields. We need these enhanced hyperdrives. I'll even move this to the top of the queue. Now that we can build it, like that absolutely needs to happen. They're just so dang slow right now. Uh, I would love to get more, like better assault pods and better armor, but I can't research that right now. All right, I'm taking a look right now. I want to see not advanced fuel storage. There's something else. Crew systems. It's expensive, but I think I need it. All right, I think we I think we managed to take some of that tech from people. So as we grow our research output should increase if we look at our funding levels we have it 80 20. i could bump it but i really just kind of want it i want colony growth to be probably one of the most important things right now if i look at uh migrants in transit we could see that there are a lot of let's take a look at passenger ships let's see there are a lot of uh Migrants moving back and forth between the systems. Look at that. Fusion balance. Research breakthrough. I'm hoping at some point I'll see some Gazurians. I'm not really seeing a whole lot of them. Those are tourists. I want to see actual migrants. So I kind of want to hold off on going after these guys until I finish this enhanced hyperdrive. Uh, and I am going to pay to crash research that. Just because I, I need to move faster. I'm moving so slow right now. All right, so we got fusion balance, which is awesome. That's going to really help our uh, designs. So we're definitely going to have to retrofit. Should be able to cram more on a ship now. What's going on over here? Uh, looks like just a couple items. Nothing too crazy. This is still under construction. Looks like we are still exploring. What's the story with all of our exploration ships? They're all flying around. Mostly look like they're going to retrofit. All right, we just found another new colony. I'm going to go ahead and build this facility. Keep them happy. Eventually, they'll become positive once the uh, development ticks up a lot more. So let's go ahead and look at what we got going on here now. We look at revenue. We can see most of our planets are producing money. Some of them are just a little bit in the negative, but they're they're slowly creeping in the right direction. Mostly waiting on assimilation, it looks like. I'm actually a little surprised there's not more Gazurians everywhere. Looks like some of them have arrived and are reproducing over there, so we'll probably have them soon enough, apparently. There we go. We've got a nice little science base there. Let's take a look at that. Are there any other research stations I could build? Yeah, build all the research stations. It looks like most of our repairs are done. I'm kind of hoping these guys don't try to attack me. That's why I was becoming friends with them. Or at least 
not angry with them. But I think they're very occupied with uh with this war over here. I'm surprised these guys still have not gotten taken out. They're even worse off than we are. All right, Beta, are you guys actually in a defense treaty with anyone? You are not. Not currently. I do ultimately want to try to take these United Talos guys out. They really screwed me by taking over one of my colonies over here. Well, that's one less species uh, roaming around the galaxy. It's a little unfortunate. Really got pinched in the middle here. All right, this should be done really soon. The downside is I'm going to have to retrofit. Oh, no. They got their planet taken over over here. They beat me to it. All right, enhanced hyperdrives are done. Let's go ahead and see are there any more colonies I can put my grubby paws on. Uh, you... You're in their territory, but it, you'd be a good jumping block. Where are you? I mean, it's not in a great spot, but I, I could take it. And it would put me in the system with those guys. Well, let's go ahead and do it. Now, the big thing here is I need to rebuild everything that has a hyperdrive. Because we now have... Oh, wait, no. It's just an enhancement of the existing hyperdrive. So that's an in-place upgrade. I don't need to rebuild anything. Well, that's pretty great. Um, I would even go as far as to probably do this one as well. It's another five years, but I feel like it is definitely worth it. Because right now our biggest hang-up is how slow everything is moving from place to place. It just takes forever. Um, you, I don't know, you're still trying to retrofit over here? Maybe you should retrofit at the spaceport instead. That's a dangerous button. Now let's take a quick look at our current backlog on these construction yards. Looks like they are mostly backlogged. This is really bad. The problem is, I don't know if I could stop it without destroying my ships. Okay. I guess they're going to be at war with us now. Where do we think they're going to come in at? They're right there. They are way more powerful than me. Double my size. So that is quite problematic nobody else is at war with them they're all pretty neutral I gotta bulk up all right well they're they're gonna have to come in over here all right I'm gonna have to figure out something here we're gonna need to build another fleet uh we're gonna probably need to modify this defense fleet a little bit Probably not doing too much moving here. I think somebody told me to change this to retain current position so it's not changing around all the time. All right, we want to use fleet tactics. We want to engage. Same system. Weaker targets, we want to be aggressive. Stronger targets, cautious. And then shields below 50%. Probably what we want to do. All right, let's get that new defense fleet. Let's name it Defense Fleet 1. And we'll try to move it up here. Although I'm not overly confident we'll be able to do anything with these guys. Set the home base there, and we'll set it to guard. Hopefully we get stuff built up, and they'll fly over there. I am quite concerned about them declaring war on me, because that usually means... They're ready to move. They're ready to do something right now. Given that they have a planet right here, I'm hoping... I'm really hoping this their intent is to come here. Oh, wait, no, that's not their planet. That's, uh, that's these guys' planet. 
That is a hundred thousand strength fleet. And another hundred and eleven thousand strength fleet along with it. Wow. Well, that's not gonna go well for us. Okay, they're heading towards here instead. All right, let's get everybody down here. As best we can, anyway. That does look like an invasion fleet heading our way. With any luck, we'll stop them. The invasion fleet. I highly doubt we're going to stop uh actual big fleet like that. I'm guessing they're just throwing everything they got right at this planet right here. All right, we are slowly but surely making our way over to this planet. I don't even know if we're going to make it in time. All right, they've already made it over here. Well, of course, because they have a ridiculously fast hyperdrive that's like three times faster than me. Well, sorry, you uh, do not stand much of a chance at all. All right, they're still heading over there. Well, they took off. I don't know if they're just going to try another target now. They're faster than me. I can't catch them. We're just going to do what we can to bulk up as much as we can. What is going on here? They just keep attacking us over here. They're still coming after the Manabu spaceport. Oh, here it is. All right, this is where their fleet comes in and just utterly decimates us. Yeah, this is going to be a big yikes. I don't know if we're going to kill a single one of their ships. Yeah, they're like quadruple our strength. All right, well, this is not going to go well. Did they actually take that planet already? They took this planet. Wow. That was brutal. And it's not even over yet. They're like 500,000. That is ridiculous. All right, well, we are just uh, completely screwed. Let's fall back to our home planet. Oh, they're coming over here now. Will anyone defend me? No, nobody likes me enough. Can I sue for peace? Like, will you please just go to peace with me? Please? Oh, wow, these guys are way... Look at that resource output. That's ridiculous. So we have super bad war weariness. Wow, they're just trashing us. I guess they took a... Uh, I guess they took a page out of my book and... 
decided to take over whoever had similar colors to them. Yeah, they're coming to invade that planet now. I'm pretty much out of cash. There's really not much I can do. Man, they're just going for it. They are not giving me any. They're not taking one planet and then moving away. They're 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 trying to take it all. I might actually have to call this one. I don't think I'm going to make it. These guys have over a million military strength already. And they are not giving up on these planets. What the heck is going on over here? They keep raiding and dying, raiding and dying. Can I... No. Here, contact all these other pirates. Maybe they will uh, come mess with you. Look <laughs> at these alerts. Isn't this ridiculous? I mean, this is a lost cause over here. I, I There's nothing I could do. I just got to wait for them to try to um, maybe... Maybe they'll feel benevolent and just give me a peace treaty. They've taken, what, one, two planets so far? My guess is they're not going to leave it at that. They're going to just keep, keep taking my planets. Oh. Yes. Let's end our war. All right, so you've taken these plant, these two planets. Wow, that is really bad war weariness. We are super in the negative. We've lost probably our two best planets. I'm guessing we're losing this game. Uh, this is probably the first one I've lost. But I just, I don't see a path forward on this one. I'll keep playing for now, but I just, I don't see a path forward. Not with these David guys being as, as rough as they are. So my guess is they're going to just rest up and declare war on me again. This is super irritating. How do they still have people to raid? That's the part I'm not getting. No protection agreement?
Nothing, really? Well, our war weariness is finally ticking down. Hopefully that means I'll get some more positive cash flow. Maybe not. <laughs> I might want to consider taking these guys out unless they're protected by somebody. They are in a defensive pack. They're a, a vassal. Right, this fleet, I guess it's just a, uh, a single fuel tanker. Let's head over here for now. If you even can. Man, how did we get the angriest people in the galaxy to come after us? Go to war with them. Not sure why we're still popping so much in the negative when we have this much positive cash flow. At this point, this is just comical. I mean, I... I kind of hate the fact that I think they're stealing a bunch of money from me all the time. But something feels kind of broken there. I think I want to get some ships up here because this is, uh, they're building up quite a uh, stockpile of pirate troops there. Man, those guys are scary. All right, I'm coming up here because this is driving me insane. Mm, I don't have the money to crash research, even though I'm earning a decent amount. How much do I need? 72,000? Look at all these alerts. This is hilarious. All right, I feel like the red guys have to be my next target, but I'm very worried these guys are going to keep... Uh, just bashing into me. I'm more concerned I won't even see the alerts because this, uh, whatever this is, is going to keep happening over and over again. Well, maybe with any luck, I'll clear them out. Just out of curiosity, I'm looking at the victory screen. Okay. So maybe if I get these two to go to war with each other somehow, maybe. Maybe they'll be preoccupied by them and I, I can survive. I don't have a lot of hope, but it's possible. I think we're getting close to getting up there. I mean, I know I could turn the notifications off and go on the message log, but I, I generally speaking, I want to see the pirate notifications. I just don't want to see this much.
You know what would be funny though is if it um if this could be abused. It it clearly can't because I I would have him by now. But I wonder if like these events would generate uh, generals. That would be pretty awesome. Let's top up those fleets. Looks like we are about to get V3 hyperdrives, which should make us move even quicker. It's kind of funny. The only reason I'm doing this is to get these alerts to stop. All right, we should be engaged over here by now. Oh, no, no. We had to make another jump over to here. Okay. We're almost there. Not quite, but almost. All right, let's try to take these pirates out. At least we blew some of them up. Got him to stop doing this stuff. All right, we'll just keep topping up our fleets. We have to rebuild. We're still way way weaker than we were uh i guess we could do a trade agreement we'll we'll just betray you and kill you oh are they at war i hope they are no they just have a planet over here all right well maybe the friction will cause them to go to war i would definitely prefer that to them being at war with me Right, well, pretty much everybody is more powerful than me right now. I probably should not have even tried to fight that battle. I should have just let it go. All right, well, I would say overall that was a fairly depressing video. Um, we are definitely taking a step back. And there's nothing we can do about it. They're way more powerful than us. I can't even pretend to maneuver around and try to win uh, when it comes to something like that. So we're, we're kind of just at their mercy. I'm really hoping they'll get preoccupied in like a war over here and they'll leave me alone long enough for me to like go after these red guys, which I don't even know if I could do right now because I'm so comparatively weak. I'm just kind of hoping that at some point I can eventually go after them um but yeah i think i am gonna call it an episode there uh definitely not ideal situation i think we're heading for a loss it'll probably be the first series where i actually lose i, I, I haven't lost yet so that's a little disappointing but i will keep plodding along as long as i can uh we'll see how far we get or if we just get immediately annihilated I think what I'll do, if my capital gets taken by these guys and they start, like, take over my core systems here, I think I'll just call it there and start over because I I, I already think there's no coming back from where we're at. I, I would definitely think there's no coming back from where we're at if, uh, if they take over the capital like that.
So anyway, we will put the cut in here for today. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, see more content in the future, and we'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.